it's a sad, sad day. Not just in Hollywood, but in general, because I'm sure most of you know by now, Robin Williams has passed away, and it sucks because it's one of those situations where this is a person that I've never met personally, but I've watched, I've seen, I've grown up with so many of his films that, yeah, it affects me, it hits close to home. So I thought it just made a little too much sense for me to sit down, watch, and review just some of this man's greatest work. So I hope you guys enjoy, and of course, rest in peace, Robin Williams. One, two, three! Patch Adams is a 1998 film that's directed by Tom Shadyak and it's based off of the true story where we meet Patch Adams played by Robin Williams who at the very beginning you see that he's this depressed suicidal guy and watching this film I just was like wow the very first movie that I start to watch and my Robin Williams tribute this is the character I see him play. Jeez. You see at the beginning, he checks himself into a mental institution and he's interacting with these various characters in there. And it's not the doctors that helps him, that gets him through it. It's him dealing with the patients. It's him sort of sympathizing with some of these people and hearing their problems, helping them deal with their problems sort of gets him through his problems. I mean, it at least lets him forget about what he has going on, that he has a higher purpose in life, a calling to help people. So he leaves this institution, he goes to medical school, he's trying to become a doctor, but along the way he decides that being a doctor isn't enough. He really, really wants to help people. So he eventually goes on and opens his own hospital where he helps people, treats people, for nothing, for free, just to make it a little easier for them. Now what I thought of Patch Adams was, I liked the movie, I did. And I'm a little surprised even to say that, I guess, because getting ready to review it or watch it, I looked online at some of what critics back then thought of it, and man, did they rip this movie apart. Roger Ebert and Gene Siskel, they hated this movie. They gave it two thumbs down, they said it was like the worst movie of 1998, which I'm like, come on, I'm sure I could pick out a whole lot of worse movies in 1998. But even so, critics like that, I mean, I respect them, but I don't always agree with them. So I shouldn't have taken that at face value. I'm not saying this movie's perfect, though. But I will say the most interesting thing about the film was the beginning, the first 10, 15 minutes or so, where Robin Williams is playing this character. Because it does sort of probably hit true to home for him and playing a character that I'm sure he related to a lot. And even throughout the film, he has moments of sort of questioning God and why he lets certain things happen to certain people, good people. There's even a moment later where he wants to commit suicide. He's on the ledge of this cliff. And I'm like, geez, some of these moments are really serious and dark. I will admit that they don't deal enough with that though. He does quickly leave the institution and when you see him in medical school, he's sort of the class clown. These critics say that they think he's too obnoxious, too over the top and stuff. I disagree. I thought that he was taking this in a way where doctors, I respect and like doctors, but they can come off a little one note, no motion. And I like the fact that Patch Adams wanted to become closer with the patients, wanted to almost become their friends. And at least if some of these people are going to die, let these last few days or weeks be comfortable for them. Have them be happy before they die. It's, it's something that I instantly understood where he was coming from and why he wanted to do it. You have characters like Philip Seymour Hoffman, very cool to see him in this movie. And he's very serious, straight-laced, and by the book. And I'm sure most people would be on that side. You have Monica Porter, who 
I think she might have been my favorite character in the movie just because not only was she really good, but I liked the approach she took. At the beginning, yes, she's very serious. And she's like, I don't like the silliness and how jokey you are. But you understood because she was a woman and she wanted to prove that she deserved to be there, that she was as smart as everyone else. So that's why she was so serious. But then when she saw that Patch Adams did take this seriously, he just approached it differently, that's when she started to open up and that's when she started to see things from his point of view. And there's something that happens with her character that just made me really feel for her and appreciate her more as a character. And you come to a point where Patch Adams, like, he's so goofy, he's so just outrageous, he even does this one thing to these teachers and the university. He, he makes this, these legs in front of the university's door. So the door is in the middle, in between the legs, and he's like, yeah, guys, come right in. It's a little slippery inside. I'm just like, oh, Evey, what are you doing? And he's even surprised when they want to kick him out of the university, and I'm like, of course you're going to get kicked out for doing something like that. But again, all of these moments made me laugh. So again, I like Patch Adams. Anyways, guys, let me know in the comments below if you've seen this film. What do you think of it? Do you hate it? Or am I the only one that enjoys it? Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Later!